What's up? Welcome to the Bangkok Breakdown. It's me again. I'm here, not in Bangkok. I'm actually on the island of Koh Phi Phi in a very, very peaceful spot here, uh, overlooking the water, some beautiful mountains in the back. Today, the topic I want to talk to you about is this idea of a peace and stupidity, in that uh, by kind of choosing not to go down the path of knowledge, in a way, it kind of saves your sort of internal state. Uh, a common complaint here among uh, Westerners, at least the few that I've talked to, a uh, professor, uh, one of them, uh, was saying a common complaint is that Thais tend to seem very stupid here. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're stupid, it's just that uh, their value set is definitely different than uh, the Western kind of mindset. Um, for those of us Westerners that value education, obviously education is valuable. And that can be very frustrating when uh, things don't go our way, like, uh, like people tend to be educated, tend to respond very well to planning and uh, future sight. And here in Thailand, uh, there's not as much planning. A lot of the uh, operations that go on are kind of, instead of preemptive, kind of postemptive, like the malaria medication I have. Uh, in America, they pushed uh, very hard the preemptive stuff, make sure you have it in your system so that you're safe before you go. Whereas here, they said, oh, if you get it, then you can take the series of six pills, which it was a lot cheaper. It's like 15 US. And in the, in, in the US, the medication, the preemptive stuff, counts about 321, no, maybe 299, 321, something like that. So it's a very, it's a very different kind of mindset here. Um, it, it is also very frustrating when you come from a place of like knowledge and you want to kind of know world cultures and it's very easy for Americans to be frustrated and angry that why don't they know what I know? Um, so this is kind of a remedy for that. It's just know that when you choose not to go down that kind of path, uh, maybe some of your friends haven't gone to university or maybe um, they don't read as much as you do. When you kind of choose or they don't choose to stay up on current events and that kind of thing, when you choose that path of not doing that, in a way, you're kind of saving yourself from all of that, the burden of that knowledge, because uh, you can you can read in the papers about all the bad things that are going on in the Middle East. You can, you know, uh, another person died in Oakland, another person got shot in uh, Berkeley or wherever. Point is, bad things happen, and you can you can educate yourself on that, and you can uh, feel bad about that. Uh, the political situations, women's rights aren't. In, you can get very very angry because you know a lot of things, but. Uh, if you look around me, none of that is really present here in this moment that I'm experiencing. I'm experiencing like deep serene peace looking at all of this gorgeous background. So uh, there, there is kind of a, uh, it's kind of like a safety net really to just actively decide not to go down that path of learning things and going to school. Like there's stresses that come in as well. They're just choosing not stress versus stress. You can argue that's good or bad or whatever. I'm going to do another one about uh, how the Thais kind of sacrifice their uh, external circumstances for their internal sort of fulfillment and ma maintenance. But that's going to be another topic. But this kind of leads into that. So with that said, um, I'm in this gorgeous place. We're going to go cliff diving later, so that should be pretty sick. And um, yeah, with some of the Aussie friends of mine I've got right here. Hey. And yeah, so with that said, I will see you guys next time.